from the Bob Mills Weather Center, the Oklahoma weather expert, Travis Meyer. It was a hot day across the area, and without a wind blowing today, it was pretty miserable. And much of the breadbasket was very hot. Now, if you look up to the north, not so bad. And guess what? Some of that not so bad is headed in our direction just in time for the 4th of July weekend. We might have to deal with some showers and storms, but a lot of us would say, we kind of need the rain. It's been drier on this part of the state. 102 became a common number from Wichita to Tulsa, then down to Fort Smith today. 106 in Wichita Falls uh, took the cake for the hot weather. As far as tonight, there's that boundary up to the north. We've had tornado watches in effect in that green counties that you'll see uh, back up in Cheyenne and then also to western Nebraska, rain and showers there. Panhandle picking up some scattered showers right now. But the biggest thing again for tomorrow is going to be a lot of heat. But this time it's pretty much shaved off from Tulsa to the east. More of the deeper humidity will be off on the east side here. So what that'll do is give us another rough day. Temperatures back up around the century mark, as I was telling you, that 102, first time we've had that since back August, middle of August of last year. So we'll deal with that for tomorrow. And again, pretty much Highway 75 to the east. That goes off into Arkansas. To the west, humidity levels won't be as bad. That's good news. What about your 4th of July weekend? Of course, we're extending that a long way because it really kind of kicks off tomorrow, tomorrow night. Fireworks have been going off tonight. And the big fireworks displays start at Bixby tomorrow night, and then they'll continue on Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and of course for the 4th of July. We've increased the chance of showers during the course of the morning and noon time hours on our Saturday. That might affect our high temperature. Still expect to be pretty much hot and humid with light winds. And then a front comes through and that knocks us down a little bit. We get away from triple digits. That's what we're wanting to do. So the 4th of July continues to show up generally in the low 90s to about 93, 94 degree area. And there is a slight chance of a few scattered storms. Best chance will probably be right around 6 o'clock. Hopefully that won't interfere with most of our fireworks displays that'll be going on for the 4th of July. Obviously a big night and uh, by about nine o'clock there could still be a few isolated storms temperatures in the 80s so it's not horrendously hot really it's pretty doggone good hopefully we'll have a little bit of a breeze though that'll make a difference we're still hanging on to 90 here in Tulsa while we're generally in the 80s across the rest of the state the Panhandle 77 at Guyman 79 at Gage so the clouds are going to be pretty much stand out west tomorrow morning we'll be still only down to about 80 to 82 around the immediate Tulsa area in 70s and outlying areas that's why the heat advisory for tomorrow, because we're back in the upper 90s to 100, and heat index values will be about 105 to 108. Showers and storms out to the west of us, that's something we haven't seen for a few days, so they're going to try to make a march to the east as we get into Saturday morning. There could be some rain, a few showers or thunder showers. I know a lot of ranchers have been putting up hay the last couple of days because it's prime time to do that, uh, not only on the calendar, but also because the weather's been cooperating. But that's going to change as we get into Saturday. An off and on chance of scattered showers and some thunderstorms around. Most of this should be during the day, and then in the afternoon, it sinks a little bit further to the south. Still anticipating 90s, unless you get a thunderstorm, you could get dropped down to near 80. So what happens on Sunday? If you're southeast Oklahoma, you have a better chance of a few scattered storms from Tulsa to the northwest. Not much of a chance. Temperatures will be in the low 90s, a little bit lower humidity. Lakes look fantastic. Once again, lower levels are just to the north and west where we haven't had any runoff. Uh, pretty much lake temperatures great, upper 70s to low 80s. Lake forecast, the only thing we're worried about is Saturday with some scattered showers and storms. That means lightning. And if a thunderstorm collapses, there could be some gusty winds. So you will have to be aware of that. Illinois River right now looks fantastic. So it's not too often that we've gone almost the entire knock on wood spring into the summer season with hardly any days that were not really good. So again, that's a pretty fantastic. And just to let you know, again, the weather at least is going to cool a little bit, get closer to normal as we go through the 4th of July. So many fireworks displays. Hopefully you get a chance to go out and enjoy it and not Mother Nature's lightning and fireworks. 82 degrees tomorrow morning. That's way too warm. Therefore, heat advisory in effect. It's doggone hot at noon, and it's going to continue that way in the afternoon. As we say, take it easy if you can. That breeze was not there today, and we're not going to get a big breeze tomorrow, 10 to 15 miles per hour. Chance of rain up a little bit for Saturday, and then it drops off on Sunday. Isolated storm on Monday, and then better chance for the 4th of July, and hopefully not too much, though.